Hey, what's going on, you beautiful people? Hopefully you are well and swell. This is the real people of the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is exactly the name of the game and what we're actually doing out here. Out here in the streets, we're just coming to you being a real people, real things, real situations. Let's go. My name is X and my co-host's name is Z. Z. No doubt, for all you new subscribers, please continue to bear with us as we give you more and more content. All you uh, new subscribers, please push that subscribe button and most definitely push that like button. You know what I'm saying? That helps out what we're doing here. And even if you don't want to do it, uh, who cares? You know, um, also, we're about to jump into it. Uh, if you have ever uh you know spent your money gathered your money up to buy a house if you gathered your money up to for a wedding that takes some time right yeah some people say for years yeah man it takes your time man and when you do it when you most definitely take your time to gather this money you want to make sure that the person that you're with is the right one right 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 Ah, well, this lady here, she most definitely did something that she shouldn't have done. At least <laughs> I think. You know, it, it comes a time when people start to, you know, marry and then you don't have somebody to marry. And then what comes over you that makes you want to marry yourself? Uh, yeah, that's I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I, I, I like I couldn't say it either, man. But this is exactly where we are. And uh, we're about to get into this lady actually marrying herself after 20 years of gathering all of this money. She was like, I, I don't have a I don't have a mate here. Let me just marry my damn self. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Let's get into it. Come on. Come on, Z. Let's let's right. let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So bride Sarah Wilkinson saves for 20 years for her dream wedding. 20 years that's 20 a long years. time man. yeah so what she did is out of every check she put like a little bit aside and then anything else that came in like maybe she won a bingo game or okay, she okay. won 100 bucks on the lottery or mm -hmm, something like mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. in addition to taking a little bit out of every check uh, she also put aside anything that she won um aside as well so she was just saving and saving and saving and finally during you know the whole pandemic thing she got okay. so lonely that she said I'm buying myself an engagement ring. I've always wanted to get married and yeah. I don't have anyone to marry. I haven't found the right person or the right person hasn't found me, but I want to, I've always wanted this one engagement ring. I'm going to go ahead and buy it for myself. Okay. So it's a beautiful And people ring. do that too. Yeah, people they, buy people rings do that all the time. All the time. Yeah, you know like, yeah. So that in and of itself was not. So shout scary. out for her for actually taking the initiative to love on herself. Literally. Yeah. Lord, for better or Lord worse, have mercy. But, till death do her part. Right, you can't make this stuff up. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I, I remember going to this one retreat, and and they were t they were saying they had a meditative moment, and they were saying like, okay, it's time for Usa. And Usa was like this meditative time where you just take out time for yourself and you just love on yourself. Oh. And um, loving on yourself, everybody was loving on themselves. It got kind of frisky in there. I can imagine. And. The more love that people showed to themselves, the the um, you know the spokesman up in front was teaching us. They were telling us the more love you show to yourself, the more value and appreciation that you have for yourself, mm. and others will have for you too. Oh wow! So it's like others can see the value that you see in yourself. Right. So I think this lady took it a little bit too far, though. <laughs> Maybe. But her friends and family were not surprised. Everyone said, oh, that's such a Sarah thing to do. Right, so right, after right. getting herself a ring, she then said, I've saved $10,000 over the last 20 years. Damn, that ain't that much, though. Huh? She must have been know. She must have been working for like Denny's or something. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. 20 years, $10,000. Yeah. That's that's below minimum wage. That's like she probably on average saved about like five hundred dollars a month. Damn. Hey, man, if you're in the comments or are working that long and yeah. you're trying to save for a marriage, put it down in the comments. And also, if you're working that long, you're doing like a, you know, you work at like a Dollar General or something like that. 
Hey, I love you, man. Hey, you know, it's all laugh, funds, and games, but money is money. We're all capitalists here. Hey, 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 hey. So she found herself uh, at... Can't make this stuff up, by the way. <laughs> Shit. So she found herself Lord at 40 years old. Okay. With an engagement, gorgeous engagement ring. Okay. All this money that she had saved up. Mm. And it was like, you know what? Screw it. So she invited all of her closest family and friends. Mm. And her one of her best friends is a wedding planner. So obviously it wasn't an actual marriage. Okay. But they okay. did all the ceremony of it. So she got a beautiful cake. She got a beautiful dress. She got her makeup done. She got her hair done. She invited her closest friends and family. Her mom walked her down the aisle. Um, she, so hold, hold, hold up. So you saying that everybody got together to marry her? Uh, 40 people showed up. Uh, family and friends. Close family and cl close friends. A baby. You can't they make this stuff up. showed up to off. celebrate her. Yeah. So she said it was a day of just celebrating herself. Listen, it's time to eat. Let's eat, y'all. <laughs> Again, let's eat. We are here to eat. We're about to eat this up. Yeah, Lord. Speaking of eat, you call it roast. This is about eating. It is. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Speaking of eating, her yeah. wedding cake was her as a bride. You know, on the top, there's always a bride and a groom, or yeah, a, yeah. a bride and a bride, or a groom and a groom, whatever. Of course. This time, she had a bride kissing a frog because you know it's like you got to kiss a frog and find your prince. Kind yeah, of thing. yeah, yeah. So at the end, people asked her, "Well, so did you do this because you gave up and you're like, screw it, I'm never gonna get married and I'm never gonna have a wedding, so let me just do it myself?" She said, "No." She hasn't given up on love. She still hopes one day she will find love. But she felt, especially after going through a very lonely time during the pandemic, hitting the age of 40, having all this money saved up, having a beautiful ring. She just said, it's not that I'm giving up. It's just that I want to celebrate myself. And if it still happens one day, great. But I'm not actively looking for love or actively looking to get married anymore. If it yeah. comes, it comes. If not, uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, well, good for her, man. I, I mean, if you're out there, if, for me, it, it it looks like the most incelous thing that you can do. Like, she's a complete incel. Like, you don't marry yourself. That's yeah. almost like marrying actually... your. That's almost like marrying your doggy. Oh my god! And listen, for you people that love your dogs, this has nothing to do with dogs. We are all for dog and poodle nice. You know what I'm saying? Dog and poodle life. We love it. We love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> So go ahead. You're about to say I'm sorry. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot of ums up here, man, because um, people are actually marrying themselves. Yeah. Hmm. It, well, how come she didn't save the money and like, you know, uh, shit, t t go on a, a house, cruise or something? Go on like, a cruise. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, if I saved up and I have 10 G's, that's a 10% down payment on a house, a 5% down payment on a house. I'm buying property. Ooh. I'm, Ooh. I don't know what, I'm giving some to charity, going on an amazing cruise. I'm not throwing myself a, a huge 40 year old sweet 16 party. Lord. That's not what I'm doing. But, Hey, I'm not downing her to each her to each her own. No, no, no. It, but bad behavior is bad behavior. No, no, no. Take that shit. There's back. actually a lot of people doing that. No, After no, I looked hold, up hold his up, article. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We 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 come from a culture where we allow people to do things just completely awkward, and we don't step out and say anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we're like, oh no, that girl out there stripping. Get your money. Sexy Red come up with these songs, Bad Coochie Booty Booty Hole. Oh, my God. Looking at my booty hole. Oh, she comes up with songs like this, and all the ladies that do not sing like this, they're just with the mouth closed, and they're just like, go ahead, what's your booty hole song? No, I think it's gross. So I, if I hear so, that, I turn it off. So, But, but that's what I'm saying. I think we got to get with people. You know what I mean? I think we got to get involved in the people's lives instead of taking, you know, the cold shoulder like, oh, well, that's just her. She's stupid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, nah, let's get involved in people's. That's what this show is about. Let's eat. <laughs> We we let's eat. We at the table with everybody. We about to eat. We gonna eat her ass up. Oh my god! The hell wrong with you? You're marrying your damn self. <laughs> What's wrong with you, girl? Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> Lord have mercy. I ain't never seen no white woman do no stuff like that with her ten thousand dollars. She worked twenty years for. <laughs> what we doing out here, man? I'm going to get all my white friends together and they're going to whoop your white ass. Oh, okay. They're going to they're gonna gang up on you and whoop your butt. 
and take your money. Lord have mercy. You can't make this stuff up, man. Oh man, uh, God, and, and God, God bless her as she goes on her daily journey, man. And um, you know, this is all fakes, and uh, you know, this is all uh, you know, entertainment purposes only. We, you know, we're throwing jokes out there, but man, people are really out of time to win. You know, they don't have anyone. You know what I mean? And and and, and it's a sad situation. You know, it's a sad situation. You don't have anyone. It, you know, it's eight billion people on the planet, and apparently. You couldn't find somebody, dog. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, dude, that shit's sad, man. So we're we we I'm I'm we're hoping and praying that people that are very like stuck to their computers or stuck to their cell phones or stuck to these games and all this technology and things that you know it's severing human connectivity. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you know what I mean? And and and, and the more it it seems to sever human uh, connection the more there's a wedge between humans and, you know, other humans, you know what I mean? Like this yeah, was, if this was like in the eighties or, or early nineties or even early two thousands, like people, you would, you would go to the mall or to public areas and then you would get macked up. Oh. You know, girls would get macked up. They just wouldn't be on Twitter. Ooh, ooh, I like his, ooh, ooh, those some nice eyebrows. I like that. So now it's almost like shopping out of a catalog where you don't actually meet anybody. Whereas before it was like you just go out in real life and you then meet people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like Reader's Digest. Right, right. You know, it's like it's like it's it's like Reader's Digest uh, yeah. culture kind of thing. Like, it's like so, window shopping. Yeah, you're window shopping. You 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 you've already been tasted by the goods. Kind oh of my thing. goodness. And and I, I I think it's I think it's a problem. You know, I, I I think it I think it's not that it's a future effective problem. It's a problem in the state of now. Uh, because again, wedges are made for you not to be connected, you know? Um, so we have to try to find ways to group ourselves up other than going to like Travis Scott's concerts, right. you know, and, and, and no shout out to Travis. I mean, Travis, you're out there doing your thing, baby. <laughs> Circus Maxim concert. Lord have mercy. You can't make this stuff up. He's a giant. Hey, Hallelujah. He's a giant man. God, shots out to shots out to Travis. Shots out to you, my man. God damn it. Okay. Other than that, we're about to sweep this concert on the roll, and we're about to keep it moving. Thank you for um, joining in to the real people of the internet. My name is King. My I, my name is X. Sorry about that. Listen, listen. Go out there in the world and do the best that you possibly can do, and do not stop. Look for the best things within yourself. And whatever you do, please don't give up. You know what I mean? Don't give up. Find the peace within yourself and 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 find the glory to be able to move forward and, you know, keep things moving. You know, if you got to become a pass, passport uh, girl, do it. You know, whatever you got to do to get to Gambia to get, uh, you know, balled down. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord, have mercy. You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> I actually saw an um, actual documentary of these old, um, old middle-aged white women to actually, like, geriatric, um, going to Gambia to get balled down. Oh, yeah, man, it was it was a horror. It was a horrific horror. Oh, my God, it was so horrorish. Lord have mercy. Sanctify my eyes in the blood. I saw this person walking on the Gambian shore with an adult diaper on, Lord have mercy, right next to a, a tall black man with muscles. <laughs> I, I think we've gone a little bit too far. <laughs> Come on back. I think we've gone too far, Captain. <laughs> Where should we go now? <laughs> Lord have mercy, I can't make this stuff up. Oh, Lord. What shall we do? I think we need to find our peace. And, 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 and when you find your peace, you're able to move forward. And prayers to the lady that married herself. Hopefully you can um, divorce yourself and find somebody else. Oh, dang. You know, I, I don't even know why the state or the country let you marry yourself. You know, like, do, yeah. do you know why they did that? I have no idea. Shame on you. Wow. Shame, shame, shame on you. Oh, come on. Lord, have mercy. You can't make this stuff up. You know what I mean? I know. So... Other than that, have a wonderful, peaceful, and productive one. If you want to get uh, with us, we have a cash app. Go to our profile to read our description. You can also go there and join our, um, you know, our YouTube fest. 
Yay for YouTube out there. We love YouTube, by the way. You know what I mean? Also, you can check out uh, our our emails if you want to do business with us. Most definitely, if you need us to do voiceovers, any kind of thing of like that to drum up business for us and to be able to partnership with those that want to partner, you know, partner with you know some real professionals. Go ahead and do that. I know you're still on a strike, and and you know somebody's looking for some kind of money, right? I mean, right. She's striking still. Lord have mercy. You want to be. You want to hold all your digital assets huh don't you you want to make money infinitely don't you <laughs> yeah i know you do i know you do i know you do i i, I wanted to make money i wanted to bust into hollywood you know so I, I wanted to do that too you know but unfortunately we all can't be stars right <laughs> thank god to youtube god damn it <laughs> <laughs> Lord of mercy. It's a laugh on you, Hollywood. I'm back, bitch. <laughs> Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. I did it. I did it with you all's help. Other than that, have a wonderful, peaceful, and productive day. And, and I'll see you later. Alligator. Audi 5,000. Peace.